Good morning, everyone. Welcome to New Day Northwest. I'm Kim Holcomb in for Margaret today. And first up this morning, with concerns over the coronavirus right now, many in Western Washington are either choosing or being asked to stay home from work. But if you're not used to working from home, there are a few things that you might need to adjust in your routine. So here to help us is physical therapist Jacob Kamick from Core Physical Therapy. Welcome. Thank you for being here. And it is this is affecting so many of us. I actually was able to work from home remotely yesterday because I was writing stories. My husband is home through at least the end of the month, so it's an adjustment for many of us for sure. It definitely is for everyone. Um, lots of people are working from home. And so I'd like to start by going over a desk setup. Okay, because this is important. It seems like maybe it's not a big deal, but this is, it really does change the whole course of your day, right? Oh, for sure, okay. definitely. Okay, I'll sit and then you can kind of demonstrate what needs to be happening here. Go ahead, okay. take a seat. I do recommend having a designated <laughs> workspace okay. just to keep work and home life separate. Um, for social aspects of life. So don't just plop down on the couch and then maybe sit in the recliner. Yeah, have I recommend keeping those separate if you can. Okay. If not, totally fine. Okay. So here with the desk set up, are you ready to kind of make a few adjustments? Yes, adjust away. All right, so first of all, I would recommend having monitor height just below eye level. So ideally this would be an inch or two higher. Okay can work out. Okay. You want 90 degree angles. Think 90 degree angles. Elbows, hips, knees. So I'd recommend having feet. Yep, you want feet flat on okay. the floor. And this chair is actually in a decent height for you. But you can raise or lower depending on... Correct. And you want it to be like what, elbow level or what's the right for the chair? I might raise you up just an inch. Okay. Where is the thing? <laughs> I think it is on that right side. So this is not right. <laughs> oh, that is definitely not right. Okay, how about that? That's better. Okay. That's better. That gives your elbows at that 90 degree angle. Okay. And you can have, go ahead and place your fingers on the keyboard. Okay. You want to make sure that there's space underneath your wrists. A lot of people like to rest those wrists on the table. Yeah. Being in that extended position for long periods while typing. A lot of strain may lead to things like carpal tunnel. Okay. So just keeping wrists in a straight alignment, slightly elevated off the table. Okay. One other thing, a lot of people tend to hunch. I do. I am a huncher. I'm like comfortable like this, but don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Okay. That's not good for okay. neck, shoulders, thoracic spine. So making sure shoulders stay back nice and upright. And so then that might also impact the chair that you're choosing to sit in, right? If, if you want something that's going to give you some support back there to Definitely. help you do chair that. Definitely. Chair can make a difference. Okay. Um, so the thing that I ran into yesterday when I was working from home is I was sitting for a long time because I was just kind of in it. And then when I stood up, I was like, oh, like my whole body ached. So do we need to get up more? Definitely. Okay. I encourage everyone right to get up at least once an hour. Okay. Go ahead and stand. Doesn't have to be long, 60 seconds. Just take a quick lap around the house, around the, the block. Okay. Anything you can designate some time to, just to break up so you're not eight hours in one position. Right, would you even set like a little alarm on your phone or something just to remind you? Because it can be easy to get into that headspace. Definitely, Okay. definitely. Some people do that, I encourage that. Every 50 minutes to an hour, that alarm goes off. 30 to 60 seconds just to get moving a little okay. bit. Okay, I will say I felt better standing up just then than I did after <laughs> two hours on my <laughs> chair yesterday. Okay, what is this here for? Because this band I recognize from workouts, but this can come in handy if you're working from home? It can. Okay. So there are exercises you can do just to help with upper back strength, posture, and so I brought one for each of us. Okay, oh boy. So I'll give this to you. Okay. So this first one we're going to do is an upper back strengthening exercise. Okay. So the, all those muscles, upper back. Yeah. I'll have you grab on, palms up, straight out in front of you. Okay. What you'll do is pull outward, keep the elbows nice and tucked. Some, one thing people tend to do, over arch their back. Oh. As they do it. Yeah, they we want to keep back in proper alignment. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades together. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Isn't it great? Yeah, that's good. And so this is going to help in terms of 
getting you the stretching that you need as though you were getting up and exerting yourself in the office. Correct, okay. correct. Good for posture, that upper back strength to really help battle that hunched position while okay. at a computer. And I recommend doing this 10 to 15 times, two to three times a day. Okay. Yeah. So again, set your alarm for that. Yeah, you can use that alarm for a walk, Okay. Or performing some of these. I'm not going to lie, this feels pretty good and I might just keep doing this for the rest of the segment. Okay, the other notion of getting people to help you get out and do something. So you recommend like maybe finding a running group or other people with the social distancing, I'm sure, but... Yes, in today's climate. Right. So what's that about? Yeah, so there are a lot of different aspects to think about when working from home. We can easily take for granted the social interactions you get with coworkers, clients, anyone you really run into throughout the day. Yeah. So I recommend if you want to knock out social and physical activity aspects of working from home, joining that running group, going to that yoga class, those group classes that Seattle has a multitude of different options that you can choose from, just participating in that handles physical activity and social interaction. You can meet new people things like that. Right. And I know that for a lot of us, we, if you work like a nine to five job, you're kind of in that mode where this is how I do it. I go in, I get my work done, maybe I get a bite to eat for lunch and then I finish my work and then I go home. But if you're working from home, your hours could differ a little bit as long as you're getting your work done, right? So is it okay for people to give them that grace period where they can just go for a run in the middle of the day if that's going to help ease everything else? Obviously, it's different for everyone. If that's how you want to do it, that, that's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Being able to take that break. Um, when working from home, you're obviously saving a fair amount of time on that commute. Yeah. Hour or even more for people. Right. I recommend taking a piece of that time saved and dedicating that to physical activity, whether it be that group class. Um, but then just keeping in mind, not letting your work life bleed over into that home life. When working from home, it can be so easy for that um, line to be crossed. Mm -hmm. And just for mental, social, all those aspects of life, making sure you have those set work hours and you don't work outside of those hours. Okay, last question because this was a problem for me. You're right next to the kitchen and there's like so many snacks in the kitchen. <laughs> So what do you do to sort of get your mind into the mode of don't walk in there every hour and grab something to eat because maybe that's not the healthiest decision? Correct. When it comes to eating and health, I recommend consulting your local dietitian. Okay. Um, but obviously, you know, three meals, three structured meals a day is right. the recommended. Um, but following your body cues, listen to your body. If you're not hungry, don't eat. If you are hungry, eat. Right. And then again, like you said, make sure that your office setup is somewhere that feels distinctly separate from the rest of the house. So then maybe Correct. you'll mentally forget that it was even, that the kitchen is even an option in the first place. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Great information that really is so prescient right now. So to get in contact with Jacob and Core Physical Therapy, please visit the website on your screen or head to New Day's website for more info. Up next, what you can do to help yourself fight off brain fog and maintain your short-term memory. We'll be right back. The preceding portion of New Day Northwest was sponsored by Primera Blue Cross.